Some time back, I had a heated debate with friends online, and uh, it went on for quite a while, maybe a few days. And uh, we were pitting one against another, and of course, both of us, the two sides, were solely concerned about their point, and the other were concerned about theirs also. And this was the point of discussion. It was that there's nothing like being a self-made millionaire. Aha. So we have that thing being thrown out. Okay, not just millionaire, but self-made this, self-made that, self-made entrepreneur, self-made this and that. Now, technically, you cannot say you are self-made. That's my point of reasoning. And the other guys were saying there are very many of those guys who are around. And I'm going to qualify my point in this episode today and even in others that are coming up because we are discussing the importance of people in your pursuit of purpose. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So actually I've come to record this because I know for a fact that this message has got to keep going out as much as possible. You wouldn't believe what is going on out there. I've just come out of, in fact, the debate is still going on. It's talking of, of debates. Someone posted something on the internet today that has had very many people commenting and I have stuck on my guns. And let me just show you what these guys have written. So there is a lady on Twitter, I believe, called Amber Noel. And Amber Noel posted something that someone screenshotted and put it on Facebook. That's where we've been doing our discussion there. This is what she said. Very interesting. She said, unpopular opinion. I don't think your life has to have purpose or you a ground ambition. I think it's okay to just wander through life finding interesting things until you die and guess what you can be sure that i as a purpose practitioner i am absolutely shocked not by the quotes for this lady because that is her belief that's where she stands she says she thinks she's not saying it as a surety as something that you can really stand on but what shocks me is how people have beat into that and run with it and believed in it and no matter how much I want to shake them out of it and tell them that purpose is not you know being told to invent penicillin or to do something major and go and find the cure for AIDS and go and save Afghanistan no it is something to do with what you love what you're gifted at what you you know you care about what matters to you what you're passionate about and what you can be able to do to enjoy life as you go transforming the lives of other people. That's what it is. It doesn't need to be prominent. It can be prominent. It doesn't have to be prominent. And people just don't see that. And I'm telling them, everyone has something that they are passionate about. Everyone has something that they love to do. That's why some of them are writers and others are not. Some of them are singers and others are not. That's purpose right there. It is not something that it is just way outside of your life, way outside of your league that you've got to go and start, 
you know transforming this universe and become a Rambo or become a, Sh- a Schwarzenegger a hero of, of sorts or become some Rocky no it is just you doing what you're passionate about what you're gifted to do and it's transforming the lives of other people it's over and above putting food on the table and clothes on your back that's it guys just don't see it and even as I speak the debate is raging on and uh, it's, uh, sometimes in debates like this they divert into semantics oh this is uh, you know this is what I mean and it's just semantics you know language comprehension and so on and so forth and so I just got out of that place and I said I've got to record an episode on purpose yet again because the message of purpose is needed right I'm not forcing anybody to do purpose what I know is that in your heart in your spirit there's some longing even if I gave you everything that you desire to get physically as in you want a house you want a mate you want kids you want money you want adventure you can do all that stuff but there's one thing that's gonna come back to you I guarantee you and you felt it as sure as the sun is out there yesterday or tomorrow today you felt it You've had all these things come to you, you've desired to have something, and once it's come, you've asked yourself this question, is that all there is to life? That is the voice of purpose asking. It is within you. The human, you cannot divorce the human from purpose, and I'm belaboring this. Uh, let me just go back to what I wanted to discuss. I wanted to discuss the importance of people in your pursuit of purpose. That your purpose is grand enough so much so that in in fact maybe that's why this lady here is saying what she's saying she's saying she doesn't believe that it's uh, it has to be something so big out there that all of us must do one thing that one thing that big thing because she's maybe feeling overwhelmed that if it's one thing that i'm supposed to do how in the world am i gonna do it i am just me with my 10 toes and 10 fingers two hands and two legs one head what what am i gonna do how am i going to do it that's where people come in now let me qualify that again because again it is not necessarily about having something big outside of your league so that it can be called purpose purpose can be as what my mama did there's a time when i was in high school i think after high school i was going through a tough time and i was just reflecting about my life and i wrote back to mama and I do believe she saved that letter. I don't know. But I told her, thank you so much for raising us as four boys. And I do believe that your purpose here, and I still do believe that, that one of your biggest reasons for existing on earth here is to raise us up. And you did. You did not give up on us. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have gone to school. I kid you not. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have be, been raised up the way we've been raised up. And it's pro- probably her purpose is as obscure as anyone's purpose out there. But it doesn't make it any lesser. If you compare her and the guy who invented penicillin, or the guy who invented the flight, or the guy who invented uh, whatever it is that they invented, Galileo Galilei, Archimedes, and Pythagoras, you can't, you can't compare her with those guys. But it doesn't mean that her purpose is less than them. In fact, purpose can never be compared. That's why purpose is never taught in schools. It cannot be compared, cannot be examined because it is individual, best, it is unique. But even in the uniqueness of your purpose, you will need people. At times, your purpose is so big that you will need people to help you. That's why we're discussing the importance of people in your pursuit of purpose. And I came across, uh, I came across a very powerful writing. Actually, there's a book I'm reading in this season. It's called Moonshot by an entrepreneur called Naveen J. This guy is is crazy. <laughs> That's what I can say. I mean, I'm going to do a review of that book at, at one point in time. But it's called Moonshot. I recommend this book to as many people as possible. If you're a parent, if you're an educator, if you're an entrepreneur, whatever it is. If you're a motivational speaker, you want to inspire people, read the book called Moonshots. Okay, Moonshot by Nathan J. This is what he says in one of the chapters. He says that the prideful cut themselves off from their fellow men, making for inevitable breakdowns. And he continues to say, their destructiveness, as history shows time and time again, comes back on themselves. 
The point is that each person's pride is in competition with everyone else's pride and the end result is that the prideful suffer without benefit. Complete self-confidence is therefore a weakness. It's just saying that you secluding yourself from society, secluding yourself from other people, it is not necessarily serving you. It, it looks martial. You might say, oh, I don't need nobody. You know, I don't need a man. I don't need a woman. I don't need this. I don't need people. That's not a point of strength. You might sound like outside it's macho, but when it comes to fulfilling your purpose, it is the biggest weakness ever. You cannot do your purpose. In fact, technically, you cannot live this life, even if you are a hermit and you just uh, bought yourself some kind of island somewhere and just flew the helicopter there and just pitched your tent there and lived there outside of people, outside of all communication. You realize that the helicopter you used was made by a person. You realize that all the materials you were used to building your tent, so to speak, were made by people. Technically, you cannot live without people. But I'm talking about directly people impacting your calling, people impacting your purpose, people impacting what you've been called to do, what you've been sent to do on the face of the earth. The importance of people in purpose pursuit can never be overemphasized. Can never ever be overemphasized. And we talked about that yesterday. Naveen Jain says this, The true rite of passage in life occurs with the death of egotism. Maturity begins when one begins to live for others. I love that. In fact, by the way, the very essence of purpose is others. Look at it from this angle. That for me to serve my purpose, okay, as I am serving my purpose, for it to be called purpose, there is an element of it transforming other people. Like my mama raising us. She is sacrificing her life to raise other people. That is purpose. Elon Musk raising SpaceX and Tesla to serve other people. That is purpose. Bill Gates doing his Microsoft thing to help others. A computer in every home. That was his purpose. He is having purpose. There is an element of you helping other people and that one is what is called purpose. And now look at it that way, that if every one of us is living that way, it means that there are some things in our lives that are not going to be handled unless someone else does their purpose. In other words, you need Bill Gates so that your computer can work, or you need Steve Jobs so that your computer can work. And Steve Jobs needed Steve Wozniak and Mark Makula and many other guys. Bill Gates needed Paul Allen and many other people. There is no way, friends, that you're going to do your purpose, run with your purpose, and to fruition if you are not including other people in it. People are paramount to help you in your pursuit of purpose. And we're going to look at categories of people that you need in your purpose. But let me tell you this there are two major categories. We're going to break them down, but there are two major categories. There are guys that you need who are going to help directly. They are involved directly, and they know for a fact that they are involved in helping you with your purpose. And in fact, if even in that category, there are many others. There are many other categories. There are those ones who involve themselves because of the purpose itself, the vision itself. And then there are others who will involve themselves for the vision, but not for its sake. They will involve themselves for their own sake, maybe to earn bread and so on and so forth. And it is perfectly okay. And then there is a category of guys who, the category number two, who da, do not even know that they are helping you with their purpose. They don't know. The guy who sold me the computer, for example, doesn't know they are helping me with my purpose. They are just making a quick buck or whatever it is they're doing. They don't know they're helping me with my purpose. I mean, they don't know the intricacies of my purpose, the clarity of my purpose in its entirety, but they are helping me indirectly. I couldn't do it without them. You get? So it is important for us to come to that level where we are noticing that it is important for every one of us to cherish the importance of people 
in our purpose versus tomorrow we're going to break it down further until then love people don't use them Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.